here we have another proving question from the trigonometry relation uh, here we are going to apply the formula for the uh, for the sine of uh, sine of uh, sum and difference of two angles all right that formula i'm going to use here before solving this i just want to write here the formula that i have to use here it's uh, sine a plus b and another is sine a minus b i hope you have already remembered this if not then again i'm gonna write it here don't worry all right it's a uh, sine a cosine of b so when it is plus you have to write here also plus okay and now you have already taken a so sine will convert to b and you have already taken cosine of b so now uh, b is already taken so now you need to choose cosine of a all right similar same process first you write sine a a come first and b comes later so cosine of b and now if it is minus it will be minus now sine has already taken a so sine have to pair up with b and cosine has already taken b so now this cosine must choose a all right so it's cosine of a so these two formula we're going to use it all right okay so further so then you can you can see it i'll write it here all right let's let's so using these two formula how we're going to uh, how we're going to prove it uh, let me show you all right uh, it's sine x plus y over sine x one so i'm writing a little here so then you can easily see it sine x plus y divided by sine x minus y see use the formula because see simply if you see uh, sim simply you're watching what sine a plus b form you know sine x plus y you, you forget for a while what you can do here just think nothing you can do except except using the formula you know you can just use your formula to elaborate further nothing you can do so I'm just going to any any unknown guy you know can without any uh, using tricks simply first hour step is just to, to, to use the formula because nothing is there to proceed so for proceeding I'm just uh, using the formula of sine x plus y all right so it's going to be sine x cosine of y plus since it is plus so it will be plus uh, sine has already taken x now sine will be left with y and cos will be given x same process it's minus so that's why it will be minus and rest of this all will be same all right it's sine x cosine of y sine y cosine of x and now what to do okay we need to get c we need to get here tan of x so how to get here tan of x similarly you need to get here tan of y from this expression you need to get tan of y okay uh, similarly yes you need to get tan of x here you need to get tan of y so what to do you know and we know one thing that tangent is the ratio of sine over cos keep in mind that always all right so we have here sine x but we don't have here cos x dividing what to do now then similarly here we have sine y but we don't have here cos y to divide all right so what we can do to get this form what about if we divide by uh, cos x and sine y to get this form tan x plus tan y tan x minus tan y what about if we divide numerator as well as denominator uh, both side by cos x cos y I'm gonna say what about if we do sine x cos y everything you know we are going to divide by uh, cos x cos y similarly here also sine y cos x we're going to divide by cos x uh, cos y and then whole divided by these things all right and that is sine x cos y sine x cos y divided by again cos x cos y again plus this is sine y sorry it's minus it's minus it's minus sine y cos x cos x divided by again cos x cos y now see the magic what's gonna happen by doing so what we, we what we did cos y cos y we can cancel up all right similarly here uh, cosine of x cosine of x we can cancel similarly here cos y cos y cancel cosine of x cosine of x cancel and now we are left with sine of x divided by cosine of x 
that is our tan of x right similarly here sine of y and here cosine of y both sine of y divided by cosine of y that's tangent of y similarly sine of x over cos of x that's tan of x minus sine of y over cosine of y that's going to be tan of y and that's what we needed that's our RHS hey we proved it in order to we prove it let's see a tan x plus tan y divided by tan x minus tan y and we prove it I hope you understand it and if there is any question you need to ask further to me then please feel free to comment below this video and please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button I really appreciate this effort from your side. Alright, see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.